Supersoul's here back once again guys. Today is a different type of video. It took me a while to put this video together. I was sick over the past two weeks. I'm still trying to get out of that muck. May go to the doctor soon. But anyway guys, today we're going to do a Vite bot tutorial. Y'all probably wondering what is Vite? Um, I know of these past few live cops you've been seeing me use a different type of bot for foot sites, not just Kodai. It's called Vite bots. And y'all are wondering like what is Vite? If y'all don't know what it is, y'all better know now. So normally, when people approach me about these beta bots, well, it wasn't beta. Um, I'm normally kind of iffy about it, guys, because you know, um, you feel me? Beta bots can really take your information if you don't know the company, like, in the reputation. So, um, I made sure I asked around before accepting accepting their invite back in maybe August, September, I think it was. Um, and I started using the bot when it was in beta. And it's been great since guys it's very consistent on good drops um it's been a little iffy lately only because there hasn't been much foot side drops since like i guess the last big foot side drop we had a lot of grs that was really good to go for was the oreo fours back in august so between then and now it's been a lot of been testing a lot of drops here and there but nothing really consistent like december will be guys so um i figure i make this video for y'all hopefully it serves y'all well and let's get started guys so vite is a company where they specialize in uh botting foot sites champs kids foot locker foot action um and um east bay so um they started back in january of this year and um they got out of beta mm, public beta around june and they got out of beta in general in september guys so um this is a 1.0 video um and it's a pretty pretty you know diverse uh set of staff and people guys the average dev for this bot is 20, 29 years old I know what you're thinking. A lot of these, you know, good bots are ran by 16 year olds, 18 year olds. But um, you know, it's, it's good to have a person that's making your bot that doesn't really need to rely on this before they go off and do something bigger, like I don't know, college, or you know, they're going through stuff, or you know, they're going through puberty still, guys. So sometimes that can be, you know, you know, a factor when it comes to um making a product, putting it out, um being you know m marketable and having it last. So thus far since I joined Vite, it's been a pretty pretty decent bot, good bot for a good price too, guys. So the 1.0 version came out last month and you know there's a lot of different features with it it's not really a total ui guys but it's still very very usable for me i get turned off from command line bots but this bot is easy to set up just like that it's not that hard and the profiles are supported through aycd so that's you know pretty much all you really need to know um but yeah guys so with 1.0 coming out last month we have a built-in restock mode you know uh windows installer this time you don't have to you know do it through a link that they give you uh, auto updater and uh and a cuit capsulist mode and you know some uh, important um you know improvements when it comes to that type of stuff guys so um as you can see my eyes going on and off the screen i'm reading off a script guys so please you know don't judge me too bad um but yeah guys so um now let's get into the bot i have it pulled it right here let's get into you know well the dashboard first and i'll do a fresh install a fresh install for you on this new live server shout out to live server just got you know got my live server as you can see uh well now you can see it's a live server but yeah guys so um let's get into a fresh install and let's you know poke around the dashboard for a second guys before i you know I install it so um so first we open this up the dashboard your home with a nice analytics page um seven successful checkouts this is not really tracked throughout all because you know there's a lot of uh <laughs> unlog checkouts like i'm pretty sure i hit some georgetown dunks too guys y'all seen the videos so y'all know that this isn't all my checkouts with this bot y'all can really go back in the live cops and look at it so um but yeah guys so um this is as accurate as 1.0 i think so which came out you know last month during you know dry month so um and then you know the download button right here so as, as i said earlier there's a windows installer guys so you gonna click the button below to download it do 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 double click i right, keep and it's down right now and there's additional data folders guys so this is kind of confusing to me but you know i'll try to explain it as much as i can after install after installation your desktop will have vice uh data folder shortcut you can also have multiple data folders with different configuration files if you want so you could have say you buy three vite vite keys right or three or or you're trying to run vite you know three instances or whatever instances they, they allow you to have right and you need to have different proxies different profiles for each instance so you're not you know rerunning the same thing well you can do that with additional data folders on one machine or if you want to you can download the bot on different machines and run it simultaneously with different folders obviously but they allow you to have different profiles different tasks different proxies under the same machine with different instances which is actually a pretty pretty cool thing guys so i'm not going to download that because you know you, you can look into the guides too they're great guys to explain everything so um we've already seen the checkouts is all old 
uh, well, most recent, I guess you would say, my account. I joined September 6th. I joined a little bit earlier. I was really turned off about the bot at first because I didn't want to set it up, but you know, I joined eventually. And my license key, um, I'm a sponsor type type of license. I'm gonna make sure make sure that I copy that, guys. So 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 when I open it up, I can install it. Um, and then go go over to the, to the guides. So built in the dashboard, that takes you right to the guides, guys. So this is a lot of stuff. Don't go, don't worry. We're gonna go through everything through this video, guys. So first, let's go back to the other tab. Make sure I have my license clicked. So let's go over to open up the bot now, guys. Um, this is a fresh install on this new server. So I made sure I did it for this live cop, guys. So um, run it anyway. Hit next, next, next install. Boo. Finish. Okay. Okay, gut. So when you install it, um, you see these two floors pop up. This is the data floor. This is what's all the guts of the bot. This is just hit to hit start, guys. The the exe file, but this is where all your you know all your stuff really goes into, guys. So let's go over to um the guides real quick, guys. So um I already showed y'all, explained everything. I just came in. So the configure file, uh, as you can see, I can explain this myself. So you put your license key here first. So let me get my license key from the website. Um, copy and put your license here. Pretty sure that's how you do it. Ooh, control V. All right. And then you go over to, <coughs> you go over to, um, and also I always check these guides to make sure that I'm doing the format right. You already know how I would do it when it comes to, you know, this type of stuff, guys. So the delays, I would keep my delays around 4,000 for foots. On bite, that's totally fine. Um, to catch a key, I'm not gonna put, put that in because obviously I don't feel like resetting my token after the video. So um, I leave it at, leave this at three, and then the webhook you want to put in your webhook, and you can test it in the bot, guys. So always a good thing. Um, and then um, restock task mode. Um, Task run for X amount of minutes. So for the restock mode, you can have your task run for a certain amount of minutes unless there's another checkout. If not, it'll turn off automatically. And I leave this, leave this at false. So we'll, we can save this now. Let's go over to profiles. Also, when it comes to these other files, the CSV file, it is important that you download the RON um, editor for, for these files, guys. Here we go, the free download. And let's wait for the download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Install. Accept. Here we go. <sighs> Let's launch it. The open file. I'm gonna go over to desktop, my data folder, profiles. Let's start start with the profiles. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So as you can see for the Vites profiles, guys, um it goes email address, the profile name, uh if you want to one checkout per person, name on card, card type, card number, expiration month. All the same as any other foot site bot. So what I normally do is I I make my task either in AYCD and I convert it over, or I never use this to edit my profiles and like that. I rather just you know put in AYCD or to Google Forms and then put it put it back in, back into here, guys. So pretty uh, self-explanatory when when it comes to this. Let me pull, pull up the Vite website, show you about show you about the profiles. Um, uh, exactly like I said, they have a AYCD is so much better guys. I highly recommend you use AYCD to use this guys if you don't have it You know, you know I have a discount code for everything. So just ask so for the, for the task though um, You can choose between you know each site um, And here's a good good um, uh, Example so the skew is this right sizes so you can do either random sizes or you, you can do a size range so you can do 9 comma 10 comma 11 comma 12 quantity that's whatever you how many you want to cart at once always do uh one quantity per task obviously website this is very 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 particular guys whenever i remake my task i always go over here to the task file even though i use the guide still too guys he has a quantity always at one but when it goes to this side of the, the task when it comes to website 
you must write you must copy and paste it right from here you must format it just like it is on here in the bot or it won't pick up the site so full locker space us foot action east bay champ sports kiss full locker full locker ca profile name like i said it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna have different ty types of modes so for the modes for the profile name so they recommend us to use smart profile well, what's smart profile well, smart profile if your profile declines for any reason or it gets some type of an error it'll automatically re-switch the profile and retry to check out for you guys so you don't need to you know edit your task again or take out that profile because it's out of balance vite will automatically use the smart profile function to um automatically rotate your profile out it's a pretty pretty cool feature guys um the modes always on release mode guys um it, I don't really use restock mode guys at all. I don't really run footside restocks like that like I used to because they don't restock, you know, a big portion of that time in the past couple months. Um, but yeah, or you use release skip queue if they don't have no queue. And normally they do, so you don't have to worry about that. So normally what I do, I have it like this, size range or random, website, full locker, smart profile, you leave it at that. This will pull from your, your profiles as long as all in the same folder all this all these things in the data folder is connected so everything you do in here will it will pull from it once you you know open up the bot and everything like that guys so you got configure out the way profiles out the way tasks and let's get the proxies um yeah let's save it um proxies it's another self-explanatory you have your isps your dc you just paste them right into here and hit save you know easy like that um so let's go and try it open up Vite for the first time boop, boop, boop. shout to live looking for updates I try to up update itself um oh yeah so I got an error guys data profiles must have at least one entry enter the quick data profiles so the best thing about command it'll tell you exactly like what's wrong so I have to have a have a I have to have a profile in here guys so let's make a you know a fake dummy pro profile all right, guys, I'm back. So what, what I did was I grabbed a test profile from Balco. I converted it over to AYCD, and I just downloaded it to my uh, server. Let's move this over, replace files and destination. Yes, yes, yes. So this should have everything from Balco. Let's open up the profiles now. This all should be uh, good now. Yep, test profile, false, boop, boop, boop. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Cool. All right, cool. Now let's, let's open up Vite. So open up Vite now, guys. Boop, boop, looking for update. Um, okay, good. We're good now. <clears throat> so as you can see, this UI isn't that good. I have an older server. If you want to, you know, get the better UI that they have built into the command line, all you have to do is um download a, a Windows. What do you say? 20, 2019 and 22 server will have a better UI than this, guys. So don't worry about that. Anyway, so as you can see, when you open the bot first, it'll try to check for an update, and then it'll, it'll tell you something, guys. So it'll say loaded the configure file, loaded the profiles, loaded one task, unique proxies. So when proxies are imported into the file, and when you start for the first time, every time you start up Vite, it will um, evaluate the quality of the proxies. It will throw out any proxies that don't work, that are too slow. So it's very good when it comes to optimization. And it's really good at um, burning slow on the data. So that's also a good thing too, guys. So now we have everything to do. Let's hit enter. Get ready, teach cam, your tasks are starting. Getting session, getting session is probably all it's gonna do. It's just, it's just what, like one one task I, I put in. No skew found this and that. So, and then as you can see, um, right here, every throughout the time where it's going back and forth from the tasks, it'll go up to here, it'll show you like all these, you know, stats. Um, it'll show you getting session, checking stock, if it's past the carding, if it's already carded, if it checked out, if it's past the queue it, if it's in the queue it, if it's waiting for a captcha, or if your keys are messed up, it'll tell you. Vite is pretty, you know, straightforward bot, guys. Even though it's command line, it's pretty much like a UI bot, guys, and it cooks pretty, pretty well, too. So, close out of Vite close out so back to what i was saying guys let's go through back you know the whole script of of it um <clears throat> so um like i said we already went over the configure file you know you could have multiple third-party capture servers or aycd but but please be aware that these third-party services do go down during you know the height of the drop so make sure you start your tasks early on by you know probably like 30 minutes before 
that's the best you know to get your tasks into the queue it guys we're waiting for queue it so 1.0 actually brought in a internal capture solver as i mentioned earlier guys so so if you don't want to use any third-party servers or aycd vite has a built-in one that you can't see obviously it'll try but um like i said we still recommend you using the third parties just in case you know the vites you know in-house capture solver doesn't work but hey it works most of the time so you're fine so we want the task profile the smart profile is another good thing to you know to brush up on smart profile literally is a mode when you're running running so when you go to check out it doesn't work it'll redo a different you know profile and try to check out which is actually kind of cool most bots just stop the task after it got failed this bot will actually rotate your profile out guys which is really really well guys so um so another thing about this data folder how how, how i told you y'all can have different configurations for the same instance so copying the folder is not going to have uh you know effect on you know the multiple for each instance so what you, so what you have to do is when you want to have another folder you go to download uh data folder zip boop 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 uh, unzip this and in this folder i guess you want to drag drag this to uh hold on let me extract this extract all boop there you go so now that the file is extracted you want to go here this is your additional data folder where as you can see everything's blank so like i said guys with additional folder guys if you want to run this using you know second instance or whatever you want to do all you do is hit right click and hit run folder using invite now look it's gonna open invite right this is a new instance guys but it's with a different folder so like i say you want to use a different key or different proxies different uh tasks easy like that so you're not bound to one folder for all your instances guys it's really really helpful guys really helpful you know it's pretty easy too i just keep down the data folder hit run as easy like that i'm pretty sure on the invite data folder yeah, you can do this to two as well so you want to run it from here your your main folder everything's good because i have filled everything out previously guys so guys just to finish some stuff up everything i mentioned are in the guides proxy data use usage shouldn't be a big thing when it comes to this type of stuff guys but you know be mindful it'll tell you how much it's using which is pretty pretty good um like the restock mode i'm brushing on the restock mode real quick so for, so for the restock mode you can pretty much leave it running 24 7 it's not using any proxies it's pretty much using the back end of Vite. so um you're not really losing anything from running the restock mode guys um all you have to do is like like the guide says you gotta um put in your SKUs for your read for your re for your restock mode and the tasks and what SKUs you want to do and what sites you want to run what size range and um and what uh, amount of tasks you want to run so it's pretty easy everything's on the guide guys i restock mode i don't really know too well because i don't really run restocks guys but it's literally all on here so you won't get too confused um but yeah i think i mentioned everything about this by i ran over you know the dashboard i ran over the dashboard first dashboard's pretty easy um vite dashboard <clears throat> I ran, I ran over this, you know, the license, um, the home, the download buttons, the checkouts, the account, the guides. Like I said, everything's in the guides. But you know, some people like to, you know, have visual stuff. I went over the configure files, um, for your main folder, your keys, your uh, all your capture keys, um, your AYCD, your webhooks, everything like that, your your, uh, your restock durations profile same thing i would say you want to make them here you can but um aycd is you know pretty pretty easy to make most people make them in a in, in a aycd so um like i said this is all test profile um and we went over proxies just paste it in here when when you have proxies um tasks you know we are went over it's skew then it's the and then it's the size range random or size range separated by commas quantity always one Website Foot Locker Chance Foot Action uh, East Bay Kiss Foot Locker Profile Name Keep these as Keep this always at Smart Profile and the modes you know your release mode your restock mode release queue at skip mode you know pretty easy and then I showed you how to run the bot you just open the folder open it from here will use your default folder so if you want to use a specific folder for a specific instance like I said run folder using Vite but the one is going to pop up simultaneously. And it's going to tell you this guys so you want to hit enter on this one that's actually working my main folder and you'll see it go through you know the motions stuff like stuff like that guys so um 
still kind of sick guys still trying to you know get through it guys but i figured you know i have some time on my hands i might as well make this video hopefully this helped you out a lot guys um any questions that you need are, are in the guides or in the discord where, the, where you can open up a ticket if you're having trouble guys so like i said guys comment like subscribe hopefully this tutorial did you well um hopefully you had fun watching this um and please please subscribe um shout out to vite team for for hooking me up you know it's a good price good monthly and you're gonna need it for any big upcoming drop guys so without further ado guys be safe talk to y'all soon let's cook up the rest of the month guys peace